Hello, and welcome back to the Austro-Hungarian Empire Conquest on European War 4. Last time, I really did make a push for Greece, where currently all my units are. And I am thinking... Ah, uh, I don't know. I'm not going to go for Egypt yet, because Britain has that under control. And I know that I won't gain really anything from it, but if I can go ahead and take out Italy and this part of Africa, I will be happy. And also, I did say that I want to take all of these cities out just in the middle of Russia and then surround Moscow, which I do plan on doing. Now that is way easier said than done, because Russia has a ton of forts. And uh, yeah, I really don't want to deal with those, but you know, in this game we have to. And taking a look back at France. I mean, we already took Paris. We might as well go and finish them off. But I really don't have a definite goal with France. I'm just thinking we push them back as far as possible in this episode. But, yeah, at this point I would say they're pretty much done. There's no more threat from France. And if we can go and sandwich them in between Spain and my territory, that would be even better. But, uh, I did forget about somebody last episode that I will have to deal with. As soon as I move all these units, I'll show. Is Britain. I have no troops ready to invade Britain, and I definitely should. Because Germany apparently can't handle them. I won't invade them this episode, but I will definitely try to take this city right here. And then use that as a main platform to recruit units and send them into Britain. And I will say the only other goal for this episode, maybe take this island from France. I mean, not, yeah, France. France. Take this island from France. I'm not really concerned about Sardinia. And just take the rest of Italy. So I don't really have huge goals this episode, just because I want to keep the episodes fairly short. I am also still taking requests for, like, one objective conquest, like I've been doing lately. Because I'm in kind of a weird situation here. Like, I don't know, to be honest, I really don't know what to record. Because I don't want to go back to War Conqueror 3, because that game is completely unbalanced, and I just really don't have any fun with it when I play it, to be honest. And I don't want to overdo European War 4 for you guys. And it is always like this when Easy Tech comes out with a new game. This is nothing new. It's just kind of a weird, I guess, depression period, I guess you could call it, between hearing about the announcement of the game and the game actually coming out. Because the hype is there, it's just you can't record it. So I would like to go and do challenges as much as I can to kind of fill that void or gap. Whatever you want to refer to it as. This artillery is really doing a good job at defending Rome, but I don't think that it can hold back this general. So like I said, if I can just get these ironclads down here, I will be able to deal with generals like this. But right now the situation isn't looking too great. The situation in Russia though is an entirely different story, and in France. Like there is literally nothing here to stop us, and if there is, we rip through it almost immediately. This train could be a bit of a problem, but still, I don't expect it to move anywhere, so just keep on pinning it down with troops and break through it eventually. And I hate to put it that way, it sounds pretty boring, but that's really what this game comes down to, like in the base game and in this mod, is that in the end it all comes down to just throwing as many troops at a line as possible until you break through. Because at the beginning, which is why I love European War 4, there's a lot of strategy involved. You know, you're always trying to figure out how you're going to get the edge, you know, how you're going to be the person that actually wins this. But later on, you just end up with so much money, so much territory, that you end up just spamming as many troops as you can. And it is a drawback, sadly, but... Oh well. We have finally arrived in Turkey to go ahead and help them out with the British. And wow, that armored car did a lot more damage than I expected. 
But my overall goal for helping Turkey right here is that they will try to attack Egypt, maybe? Or attacked. I meant attack. But, yeah, I'm hoping that they will try to go for Egypt. I don't expect them to actually do anything, though. I just need them to distract the British as much as possible in Africa so that my invasion of the Italian land goes smoothly as possible. Because you see this aircraft and this city right here. They could easily send over units if they see me attacking Italy. But hopefully that will not be too much of a problem if I do help out Turkey. But who knows, the AI in this game kind of just does its own thing. On the bright side though, we have managed to take out pretty much all of mainland Italy. All they have left is, I think, their navy in that sense. And of course, some African land, but that doesn't do much. Okay, maybe ironclads weren't the best idea. I think that the problem is with ironclads is that they weren't brought into the game properly. You know, because they're from vanilla European War 4. So it's like they just kept them there instead of integrating them into the mod. So they still do the same damage, they still have the same health. And it isn't leveled with the rest of the ships in this game. So I'll go and stop making those and just make battleships instead. Speaking of damage and all that, not just the ironclads, but it seems like everything in this game takes a ton of damage. And they also dish out a lot of damage, even the infantry, which is why I even bother making them. See, if that were like guards or grenadiers in the base game, that would have done nothing. But I do think that this is why it's one of my favorite mods. It's because it's not like you get stuck on one unit for the entire time and it's just all bogged down, I would say. You take out one unit and then you move on to the next. It's fast. Russia is actually falling a lot faster than I thought that it would. So I'm thinking instead of ignoring Petrograd like I originally planned, we can just go ahead and surround it. I don't think that we can actually take it because, of course, I only have this up here right now. But we can definitely surround and get in some damage on that fort. This unit is just hanging by a fucking strand and they actually took the city. Good on them. They're, I mean, they're gonna die, definitely. But I guess they accomplished their mission before they died, so that's something. But we should be able to go ahead and hold on to this island. I don't see them sending up any real units to take it back. So I'm thinking we go and secure this island, make a navy around it, and then take out Sardinia. Yeah, what turned into just a small assault on a city has turned into a huge fucking siege battle. But I think that we finally have it right now. Yes, we do. Cormont has been taken. I think that was the last bit of actual resistance that we'll get from France. Now just run along, take out their forts into Spain and corn them. And I really don't know what to do about Portugal. I know it's an extremely minor nation, no real threat. But I don't know how I'm going to get over to them, to be honest. Because Spain isn't doing anything against them. Like, Spain just does not give a fuck. So I might move over, like, one general to go take out Portugal. I don't think it'll be too big of a campaign, really. It'll just be extremely awkward, is what I'm trying to say. My units have landed in this Italian territory right here, but I think that I really did overestimate it. There is no resistance, like absolutely none. So depending on how much damage I do, oh, okay. Yeah, I, I will only need this one train in general. Not even both of them, I feel like I could take the train over as well. But just for the sake of time, I will go and put that train there as well. But I'm going to send the rest over to try to sneak into Tunisia. Maybe, I don't think that that train will move though, which is really getting me right now. There we are. We have completely taken all of Italy. And now we're just gonna focus down Sardinia and then use these two islands as bases to go assault the rest of their territory in, I believe only Africa? Yes, that is all the territory that France has left. Well, of course there is this, but that's really nothing. 
And with this, we should have the stables. And we should also have this fort as well. So we have completely secured, oh, not completely. Almost completely secured this Italian territory. I do apologize that I keep on calling it Italian territory, but I really don't know what African nation that's supposed to be. I'm not too good with African geography. Uh, no, that is. I almost said Libya, but I'm pretty sure there is a nation between Libya and Egypt. I'm sorry, I don't know. But we have taken it, and we have surrounded Moscow. Well, almost. Enough to where I can have aircraft firing on it, and that did no fucking damage. Okay. There we are. So take out this fort, and then just move straight into Moscow. I guess we should also start besieging uh, Petrograd as well, shouldn't we? Your artillery should make short work at both. Which, which is what I'm hoping for. We've driven back France a fuck ton, and we're about to take these few islands left and then invade Africa. Excuse me, what are you doing? I think I know what's happening here. Wait, no, it's firing that way. What? You know what, it doesn't matter at this point. Oh right, I forgot about Sevastopol. Maybe, yes. There we are. I'm pretty sure that is the last Russian city besides Petrograd and Moscow. Uh, they do have this whole city here in Finland, but oh well. So next episode, I will prepare an invasion of England. Or Britain, whatever the hell you want to call it. But my plan is to show... London with as many artillery rounds as possible and some aircraft. And then go straight for London. Not gonna bother with Southampton, not gonna bother with any of these. Just go straight for London. But anyway, I hope that you all did enjoy, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.